for fly in the winter snow with all the pastels from head to toe. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into Barbie Extra Fly Winter Wonderland today. Here we go! So it is time to go back to the normal real world after being super obsessed with the Barbie movie and I was on a pretty good roll with the Barbie Extra Fly dolls actually. I already did a restyle and well review and restyle of the Festival Girl, the Beach Girl and of course Extra Fly Ken. So you can go to my page, check those out if you want to or if you're interested. So today Millie here. I am super excited for her and I was already super excited for her when I saw the promo pictures. I think she's my, after maybe Ken, she's my favorite out of all of these Barbie Extra Fly dolls. And why? So if you have been following me for a while, you probably know why I really love this doll because it has the winter theming. And if there's any theming that I love on a doll, it is either winter or slumber party because usually those always come in like pastel color palettes. So Barbie Extra Fly, the Winter Girl. What are we calling her? Winter Girl, Winter Wonderland Girl, uh, Millie, Winter Millie, I don't know. She's just looking so fabulous. Minus one thing. You can already tell in the box that she has some heavy pixelation in the face. Ugh. I don't know what it is, but it always seems to affect Millie. I would really like to know what the process is behind this whole pixelation. What is up with that? But besides the pixelation in the face, look at this whole look. It has that glittery, furry, pastel blue faux fur coat with, um, with the glittery pink one piece underneath. She has some adorable accessories, chains, belts, everything. We're going to unbox her and we're going to look in close detail to everything, of course. And um, mine is the pixel face. There are a lot of reasons why this doll is so fun. Yeah. So the box, super fun travel trunk idea. We know the box. We know how it looks by now. So let's just get this baby out and see what she's all about.
Ta-da! Here she is outside of the box and she is looking <laughs> so aesthetically pleasing. It has all the colors I love. It is completely pastel glitters and it's just, it is giving me life. Let's just go over her head to toe. So she has these earmuffs, super adorable. Her earrings are these icicles, very cute. I do think they should have been translucent with glitters. Yeah. Um, her necklace, which is like a chain and a heart on it. Um, the faux fur jacket. And she has like these fingerless gloves. They are plastic though. And um, are they attached with something? No. Okay. I think this is such a cute new detail. I have never seen this before on a doll, so I think this is kind of like a new accessory. So we're probably going to see this return in some other colors. So I always get excited when we find out that there is a new Barbie accessory, you know, especially um, one that can contribute to a look such as the fingerless gloves. Um, yeah, so that, um, her one piece is velcroed in the back and this belt, you guys, it is the cutest. So it's so cute. It has like this bear, um, as a buckle and her charms on the chains is a kind of like a frozen heart, a teddy bear. And, um, I think this is kind of like a, a gondola at a skiing lodge. You know, the one that takes you all the way at the top of the mountain. That's just the cutest. <laughs> and some snow boots. Adorable. Yeah, I do. I get, I get the snow boot thing. But of course, we would love to see some snow boot heels. That would have really made it Barbie. And because of these boots, we can probably indicate that this is a flat footed doll. Let's check that out. Yeah. Outfit wise, definitely a 10 for me absolute score. Uh, I wouldn't change a thing. Maybe, probably the snow boots and give it a cute heel. So the hair, it is saran. Um, yeah, but it does need a good wash as you can see. Yeah, it's really boxy and, um, but I love that they always use like a good length on Barbie extra dolls and well, yeah, the face, I mean the pixel face. And, you know, Millie isn't all that popular to begin with. And on top of that, giving Millie the pixel faces really makes people hate Millie. And I feel for Millie. I mean, she's, yeah, she's getting a lot of hate for her face. <laughs> and with the pixelation on top, I mean, it only makes it worse. So it's hard, it's hard to watch. Yeah, of course she also came with some accessories. This is her travel trunk. It is an icicle and... It is just the darn cutest thing. You can put like little fun things in there and you can close it up real easily. Does this press down? No, usually those trunks, you can press these things down, but in this case, it stays up. Uh, the snowflake purse, uh, it is cute, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't feel much for this. Uh, to me, this should have been another color, like either just translucent with glitters or uh, a lighter shade of purple, blue, or pink. I mean, yeah, no. The purse doesn't vibe with me, even though it's a snowflake, which I generally think is super cute. Some snowy shades. I mean, yeah, they look cute, but, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? And of course, she came with a cute little mini passport and a flight ticket. Adorable. And this weird Barbie extra flight ticket again. It's just, it's just a very useless big piece of cardboard. Um, yeah. And of course, this wouldn't be a Barbie Nation video if we didn't do like a little fun restyle and lookbook for this girl. So that's what we're gonna do. And with that, I usually always give them a made to move body. I like to add that piece of posability, especially when I do these little lookbooks, you know, it's nice to have them 
uh, pose a little bit better and more. Sometimes you comment underneath my videos, like why do you always give them a made to move body? It's just how I prefer my dolls. So yeah, it's not like a necessary thing to do. It's just pure optional, but um, most people do like to uh, rebody their dolls to made to move bodies. So I always think it's like a fun piece of extra information to have to know which doll is a good match. Um, and in this case, I'm using the Barbie uh, Fashionista's Wheelchair Girl. And um, yeah, she seems like a perfect match for her. So uh, original type body, Barbie Fashionista's Wheelchair is a perfect match for the Barbie Extra Fly Winter Millie Girl. So without further ado, let's head off to the salon to get this Barbie Extra Fly doll the Barbie Nation makeover she deserves. Here we go.
So these were my looks for the Barbie Extra Fly Winter Millie Girl and boy was this fun to do. I had me some good old fun in this lookbook. Of course, of course, I had to keep her in this super duper kawaii look. Yeah, so let's go over these looks real quick. Uh, the first look, which was a total throwback look, super cute. Um, I especially love to see my mini me educate Barbie a little bit about, you know, throwback fashions and especially the Generation Girls because that line was iconic. Looking back, those girls had so many fun pieces. The dolls were of a super nice quality. The fashions, it really goes up to today's standard of like collector level dolls. That's what always amazes me actually that, you know, uh, Playline dolls from the past actually have today's collector level. Yeah. I love that, you know, super sporty um, vibe on her, especially with that Barbie top underneath it. And it was just, it was, it looked so good on her, so fitting and yeah, super cute. The second look, the Speed Racer. I really, really had me some fun with that. Okay, so little side story. I really actually love Barbie vehicles. Um... And w before I got myself a Barbie, which I got from my brother because he was no longer interested in Barbie, um, I had a garage with a lot of uh, Hot Wheel cars. So I used to play with cars all the time until Barbie popped up in my room. Yeah, I am the youngest of three, so I always got like the hand-me-down toys that my brothers didn't want anymore. So from the time that Barbie stepped into my playroom, <sighs> yeah, that was it for me. I was immediately hooked. So the garage went out the door and it was all Barbie all the time. But I still kept my love for cars or toy cars. So especially, of course, Barbie cars. But do a little side note, the past 15 years, I haven't been that much into the Barbie cars because, yeah, they just looked like really cheap things to me and um, they just can't be the standard that they had uh, in the 80s or 90s. I actually do not even have those cars, but I really do love them. Yeah, I wish I had more space so I could, you know, collect more Barbie cars. And thankfully, of course, this year we had the Barbie movie car, which is just, uh Thank the Lords for that car and giving us a super cute Barbie car again. Okay, back to the Speed Racer look. Super cute. I love that little like holographic dress, that faux leather jacket with Hello Kitty on it. I actually do not have the actual Hello Kitty doll that comes with that jacket, um, but I did find that jacket on a flea market. Yeah. Um, so that was super fun. I loved seeing, you know, Ken mess around with that Hello Kitty helmet, uh, which was actually a part of a Steffi Love Hello Kitty uh, scooter set. Yeah. And yeah, so that was just a super fun look for Barbie. And um, yeah, it actually reminded me of uh, the time where I played with my little toy cars. So um that's maybe that's why I really love that second speed racer look. <laughs> and then of course this last super kawaii Decora look for Barbie. Um, yeah, so Decora is kind of like a uh, sub trend in the Harajuku kawaii girl fashion scene. The people who dress in like full Decora are just usually dressed in a lot of accessories. So a lot of bracelets, a lot of necklaces, hair clips, stickers, what you name it, they put it on themselves and it looks so cute. So that was kind of like my inspiration for her look. And it just, she just looks so darn cute in this look. Of course, with my uh, high knee socks, which I just cannot get enough of. <laughs> she just looks so darn cute in this look. So I just have to keep her in this look. <sighs> so. Final thoughts, Barbie Extra Fly Winter Millie. I really love this doll. I love all of her pieces. Um, so even for all of her pieces alone, she's definitely worth getting. Um, you know, the whole pixel face, yeah. Um, it's, like I said earlier, it's, 
When we get good hair, we get a pixel face. Whenever we get polypropylene hair, we get good faces. So Mattel just can't seem to get it right. There always has to be this one thing about a doll that you're like, ah, why? This just was so not necessary. So like I said, good hair. And um, oh my gosh, yeah, I just... This hair is just so nice. Yeah, I was really happy to see that she actually came with some nice shiny saran hair. Good shade of blonde with a little pink in it. Just how I love it. <laughs> So, which one of these looks was your favorite? Uh, are you going to get this doll? Do you love this doll? What do you think of the Barbie Extra Fly dolls in general? Um, what are we hoping to see in the future for Barbie Extra? Um, yeah, I definitely hope they're going to continue on with this Barbie Extra franchise because I really adore what they're coming up with. I just love the whole campiness. You know, they get creative with these dolls. They are trying stuff out on dolls and they're uh, constantly coming up with like new accessories or shoe molds even. So yeah, I applaud that. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation rolling about this super cute doll and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, big kisses from me and I love you all.